medical achievement to tell you about it, and you got to see it to believe it. Doctors at Johns Hopkins successfully grew an ear on a patient's arm. That's what you're looking at there. So we got to bring in so many questions here, so much for our senior medical correspondent, Elizabeth Cohen, to explain. So tell us about this. I mean, that is incredible to look at, how, how this all came about. Um, ear in the patient's arm. Is this a first? I mean, do it's, tell, and we'll go from there. It's the first in this country done in this particular way. So let, let me tell you what happened, because this is a really unusual set yeah. of circumstances. So a woman named Sherry Walter, she's 42, she lives in Maryland, and she had skin cancer on her ear, and they had to remove the outer ear and a lot of her inner hearing structures as well. And so they were debating what to, you know, what to do, what to replace it with, and they said, gee, what would happen if we took some cartilage from her ribs, shaped it into an ear, and then put that under her arm, let it kind of sit there for four months. It sat under, her in, under the skin in her arm for four months. And the blood vessels grew around it, and the skin uh, grew around it, and then they took it out, and they put it on her head. So all this has already happened. So this was a four-month, that was the process, and that was the whole goal. They figured the, the skin, the blood vessels, everything would come around it. And is that the, that's the end result right here? That's, well, that is actually not the final result. Oh, okay. that's, they, they further went in and sculpted it. You see how it doesn't have a lobe. Gotcha. It doesn't have a okay. lot of the, sort of the curvature. So that's actually not final. What's final is even more natural than that. Incredible. Okay, so I think a lot of people want to, can she hear she can hear she because can hear. because they connected it up, you know, to all to various structures inside, and then they also put an implant in. So it all she hears out of it perfectly fine. So her hearing and it'll be as good as ever. Yeah, her hearing is as good as good as it's ever been. Okay. So, what were the were there concerns coming in? You know, body rejecting anything? And all? well, it's her own body, That's so I guess not. That's the brilliance not. of this, right? Exactly, is that it's her own body, so that there's no the cartilage is from her own body. It grew, it grew. I shouldn't say grew. It didn't get bigger, but it sort of sat there for four months in her own body. So, yeah, there was there was no fear of rejection. And again, you know, I think a lot of us, our, our viewers, are, are taking all this in. What an incredible advancement in. in you know, medicine technology, has it been done with any other body parts or is this unique to the ear where you could take cartilage, shape it, grow it in an arm? Is this a unique set of circumstances? This, well, this was, right, exactly. So, you know, most people don't need, there aren't a whole ton of people who need a whole new ear. And she also had other issues in that not just her ear was taken off, but some of the bone around it and lots of the internal structures so that there are prosthetic ears, but that was even tricky getting her a prosthetic because there wasn't really much to attach it to because she had so much removed. So she was in a pretty unusual situation. There aren't a ton of people who need this kind of a prosthetic ear, but still it's a great proof of principle that it can work. And that you don't need to go looking for any kind of a donor, you don't, whatever. I mean, that, that, it, that it worked right. on its own. Now, it wasn't, I want to be clear, it wasn't grown in her arm. The sort of scaffolding, if you will, of that mm, ear was point. already there. Blood vessels attached as it sat in her arm for four months. And the skin, they expanded the skin. They kind of puffed it up with saline so that it would grow around mm. it. And then they could remove it. Got it. Okay.